All right, welcome back to Learn Wire. Today we're going to be doing a long awaited uh, AI niche website case study update. It's been a couple months since I've done an update on the newbiegardening.com website. This is just this was just a test site and a case study to build the entire site using only artificial intelligence um, software. And we started it off with the first 300 articles were uh, Koala Writer, Agility Writer, and Zim Writer. And I've kept track of those different ra rankings and so forth. And then we've just overall uh, kept track of the growth of the website. So the website looks pretty much the same as it has since I started the website, I believe, it, uh, back in May. So what are we at? May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So we're around eight months in. So anything can happen in the next four or five months as far as the site could gain a bunch of traction because that is typically what is thought of as the uh, beginning stages of a, of a new website is around the eight month mark. You can expect to see most traffic gains after eight months, but I'll, I'll show you uh, just kind of like what the website looks like. Um, all this is just uh, right now. I mean, look at this. I'm not even updating the images right here. That's a terrible image right there. I need to go in. Um, I don't have my VA working on the site anymore. And so I don't have the time to go and change all these images in here. Um, but just goes to show you that the site can actually grow once you look at the statistics and the analytics of the site that even with this crappy, um, you know, AI generated um, featured image right here, um, that the site will still get traffic and so forth. But I do agree that um, you will always get even better results if you have someone uh, looking at each article, making uh, kind of proofreading it, making sure things look good and so forth. And then most importantly, making sure that the images and stuff look good as well. Uh, like I said, like right over here on the home page, we can see that there's clearly an image that needs changed out right there. But overall, um, pretty good structured website. And we have, uh, if we go back over here into the uh, inside of the site, you can see that we now have published 641 articles on the site. So this isn't something crazy. Uh, like you're uh, seeing Julian Goldie uh, publish a thousand articles at the same day. This has taken us, you know, uh, several months. And this is kind of like a good test to show you that when I show you the results, they're pretty good results, but they're not like, you know, amazing uh, type results or mind blowing results. And so it kind of does show you that if I've waited seven months uh, to, you know, uh, kind of bleed out the content um, at a, a really easy pace, no more than like five articles a day and so forth. Um, and it's taken this long to get 600 articles published on the site. Um, that it, you, you, in, in a sense, you could almost argue that it, you may as well uh, publish a ton of content at once um, because we don't know what the longevity of that is. So, right, um, if my site is, would have less of a chance of getting penalized because it looks more natural than someone that publishes a thousand articles at once. But nonetheless, let's jump into some of the stats. So I'm over here at SEO crawl and we'll look at just clicks right, right off the bat. And you can see that in November we had a really good month and it was just a, it was just like three or four times more than what we had been getting. And December is projected to have less, um, even on the trend line where it would it be expected. We're going to be a little bit less than that. And that could just be, I believe that that's just a, the nature of this seasonality of my, art, of my website. So it's going to be a really hard time to kind of measure that because people aren't searching for all these gardening articles in the middle of December. And so that makes uh, complete sense. It is projecting that we'll be able, we will match our, um, our impressions over here, but this is just clicks from the search console uh, information. And for whatever reason, it's not hooked to analytics, but I went ahead and we're gonna look at the traffic from analytics. Now I have it since we built the website in May to today, December 13th. And you can see, obviously, we didn't have any traffic uh, all the way to, to there. We didn't start getting traffic until um, about middle of August. And you can see that we've had um, closing in on 4,000 views so far. And you can see that there's definitely a growth right there. If we switched this and we looked at this just for the last 12 months, um, you'll be able to see a little bit more of that kind of uh, strong growth line uh, going up right there. And then also we'll, I'll give you one more look at uh, maybe just like the last 30 days right over here. And you'll see that the views, um, the page views we're getting is almost a thousand. So it's at 909 page views. So almost getting up to a thousand page views per month, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, most of the page views of the SEO that we have being done on the site is uh, we're trying to kind of rank the site for, um, you know, beginner gardening type keywords. And so that's going to be the home page. And that's why you see most of the traffic is coming in to the home page section. So um, overall, pretty, um, you know, that's pretty good getting a, almost a thousand page views. I wouldn't look to monetize the site and start putting any kind of display ads or anything like that on the site until it gets at least 5,000. That's like a minimum is 5,000 page views per month to even try to start making money from the site. Um, but I really would recommend uh, 10,000 page views or more before I would actually even care about monetizing the site. That's just kind of like my mentality about it because even if we put uh, AdSense on the site or something like that, it's gonna make pennies and it's just not even worth it. And there's no point of putting all that on the site and you know, sort of bogging the site down with all those ads and stuff when you're not even, um, you know, getting that SEO traffic anyways. So there would be no, I would not recommend that. Uh, so one more thing to look at would be inside of, I think that this will probably be, tell more of the story of what's going on with the website is uh, going into an SEO tool. I'm an SE ranking, but you could also analyze the tool uh, or analyze the site in Ahrefs or SEMrush or something like that. But uh, SE ranking, and if we go and we analyze newbie gardening over here, you'll see that we have 668 keywords that we're actually um, ranking for, and we're up 230. So we're up like 30% um, month over month on keywords. So that really shows the growth pattern uh, for like, we're really starting to hit our stride, I believe on the site. Uh, you can see that we're at, um, like if I click over here on traffic, you'll see we no traffic right here at all. And this shows you also, we already know we're getting over 500 um, unique users per um, per month and uh, almost, uh, oh, what is that, 909 uh, page views. And then a tool like SE Ranking is only measuring 67 organic traffic, right? So that's why these tools, they're only just like a, a guide to tell you overall if is the site um, rank uh, going up or down. And SE Ranking is accurate in the um, the trend lines um, do match my data, my actual data in um, Search Console and Analytics, but it doesn't actually tell you even one ninth of the story, right? We know we're getting 900 visitors, not 600 or 67, but it does clearly state that we're finally catching our stride right here in December, and it'll be exciting to see what um, goes on the site uh, in the coming months after this. We click on over here to keywords, you'll see, uh, again, no keywords. And then all of a sudden in September, we were at 157 and then 248. And then in November, we were at 438. And then in December, we're at 668 uh, keywords. We have seven in the top 10, 10 on page two, 395 of those keywords are um, on 21 to 50. So that is uh, tells me there's a lot of SEO. Uh, there's a lot of on-page opportunity um, on that category right there. Um, anytime you're ranking on page three, four, and five, um, that's uh, telling me that you can improve the on-page SEO of those pages so you can find out what pages are ranking um, right there and um, and then do some more you know keyword optimization on page. Um, you can start there and then also um, you can also have your external uh, SEO, you know, like backlinks and so forth. You could also focus on those to try to turn more of those top 20, uh, the 21 to 50. So um, ranking on page three, four, and five, you can start trying to move those up to page one and page two. I'm not quite uh, focusing on that right now, but that would be my strategy. And then 256 in the uh, 50 to 100 range. So you can clearly see the growth right there as well. So these are the these are the way that you want to see the growth of the site. You do want to see these things happening. It does look like we're ranking for more keywords and so forth. Finally, getting a registered keyword cost right over here as well. And then backlinks look good as well. We started um, right over here. Let's see. Um, this is kind of when I had the site, and then now we have. Um, it looks like uh, when I adopted the domain, I did not know that it already had a history and that kind of sucks, but um, I've already kind of told, went over that story. Um, but it looked like it had over 300 backlinks uh, attached to the domain when I picked it up. And then now you can see we have almost 500 backlinks and we're not losing backlinks um, at the, definitely not even uh, at a smidgen of the rate that we are actually gaining a lot of backlinks. So overall, uh, and then we can come down here and start looking at these keywords right over here. I already have it sorted by uh, the uh, position. We have some of these in the in the top 10 right here. And you can just start seeing <clears throat> all these keywords right here. 
and the search volume right over here. So some of these are look pretty promising when we're ranked 20. It's a new keyword for dirt leveling tools and it has 390 search volume or even better over here we're ranked 22 for snake plant uh, turning yellow and this one gets 1.3 thousand visitors per month so um, overall let's see what we're ranking for <clears throat> for some of the heavy hitter keywords and we're ranked in the top 100 um, that looks like the best we're kind of doing right here is uh, for a 3000 search volume keyword yellow leaves on roses we're ranked on page three or four, uh, page looks like three and then last but not least, what I would do is I'm going to go back. I'm going to go up here to projects and I'm going to click on the newbie gardening right over here where we were tracking, I believe 230 keywords right here. So obviously these were just the original keywords that we were tracking. I'm going to go ahead and look at the rankings there and just the original keywords that we're actually going for. Uh, we can come, come down here and see uh, as of December 13th where we're at. So remember for a long time, uh, you know, it just, it, it looks pretty bleak the first like five months where you're like, gosh, is the site taking off or what, what's going on? And you can see we only had like 10 or less right here and we were struggling. We couldn't get more than 10 keywords showing up right here. And then now it just keeps going. Look at this. So now we're right over here. We have like the triple the amount of keywords that we actually were intentionally going for and that are actually ranking right over here so overall based on all the data that i'm looking at right here it does look like the site is doing pretty well um, it's not penalized it's all ai content 600 or plus articles of just ai spit, spit out uh, content and um, we look like we're gaining keywords every month. We are gaining rankings, more and more keywords are ranking, we're gaining traffic. And this is something that, um, you know, in the next 12 months, we'll have to continue looking at the site to see how well it does. A couple of things that we have to take into consideration. This is all AI content. This was in the new AI content, um, you know, realm of, we don't really know how these sites are really going to do in the long run. We also know that this is a very competitive niche. Uh, I didn't actually niche down inside of uh, gardening. So this is pretty much just an outdoor gardening site. But uh, to be completely honest with you, I didn't even narrow it down to like, are we, are we um, harvest? Are we not harvesting? Are we, uh, is our content in our site built on, you know, fruit gardening or gardening vegetables or uh, gardening uh, flowers and so forth, right? Like what are we actually gardening? There's a million different niches inside of gardening. I kind of, made that mistake of not i should i would have definitely preferred niching down uh, like um vertical gardening for example an entire niche website just on vertical gardening would have been probably if i had to do it over again I, that's what i would do because my site is not really focused on one particular aspect of gardening and that's probably hurting me a little bit um, i probably could have grown even faster um, but that's just kind of some things that i'm learning along the way as well and sharing with you in a transparent way. Um, and then finally, this is also out of season right now. So um, considering that November was our biggest month and we are clearly out of, outside of the gardening uh, season in the United States, where most of the traffic is coming from, uh, I would expect that this would really start taking off probably in March and April. Um, so we'll have to come back and see where we're at in March and April on the site. But overall, um, I'm pretty pleased uh, if I had to like rate this on a, uh, you know, a scale from Let's go on a scale from one to uh, 10. Um, I would probably rate this at about a seven. Um, I think I could have done better, but I definitely could have been worse. Um, you know, if we were looking at all these stats and <clears throat> not seeing, you know, the growth, the visitors right over here, um, the, you know, like growth like this with clicks and so forth. If we didn't see all that kind of growth on the site, <clears throat> then I um, probably would be a little bit more uh, discouraged or um, just um, definitely be looking at what I did and what I could uh, change. I'm always looking at what I could do to improve. Um, we do have 85% uh, of the traffic is coming from the United States and then United Kingdom and then Australia. So we've got some really strong um, traffic coming in, tier one traffic coming in, and we have some good rankings and stuff. So um, these are the lines that you want to see when you're looking at traffic right here, going up, keywords going up like that. That's just a perfect trend line right there. 
and um, and then backlinks are looking good too. We're really starting to grow backlinks with the company that I'm going with right now. I'm using Link Daddy. Um, if you guys want me to make a video on Link Daddy, then I will as well. I've been with them a couple months. They're doing a, a campaign for me, and um, it, I, I think that this is starting to really take off because we switched with them as well. So overall, like I said, I would probably give this a C, maybe a C plus um, or a seven point eight. 7.7 out of uh, 10 um, based on just looking at all these uh, charts right over here and seeing the overall growth of the site. I will keep you guys posted in a couple more months about what's going on with the site. Um, if we continue to see the trend lines going up, this also just shows you the realistic uh, part about this. Uh, could I build a website in this amount of time and got and, and gotten 10,000 views uh, per month? Absolutely. I'm not a professional niche website builder. This just shows you that you can take AI content, uh, come up with a game plan, and you can actually execute on that and start um, bring, uh, building your website. But this also shows probably the average uh, with without any, you know, SEO um, tricks um, and stuff like that. You know, maybe someone that's been doing this for a really long time that knows exactly what to do, they probably could um, grow the site faster. Um, maybe if I would have, like I said, I'm learning as well, like niching down a little bit more would have probably been better for me. Uh, but this just shows you on average, this is probably um, some of the results that you could probably expect. This uh, niche website building is definitely not something that's going to ma um, have you quit your job in the first year that you start building websites because it just takes this long to even start getting this traction. Um, and I think that that's probably the normal, uh, um, you know, the nor this is probably fits, like I said, fits pretty um much uh, within the average uh, niche website builder, this is probably pretty average of what you would actually expect to see inside of eight months on a on a site. Um, the growth looks good and everything. It's just not enough to you know uh, you know write home about or start making money off the website, right? So, um, and then there's just a lot of risks. Like I'm not doing any review type articles. There's no back. There's no um, affiliate links on the site or nothing. So the site hasn't made any money. I'll answer that question right away. The site hasn't made any money, but I haven't tried to uh, make any money from the site as well. Like I said, I believe that you need more traffic in order to spend your time actually trying to monetize your traffic. Um, and then you know you could um, I could just do uh, put up 600 product reviews on the site and maybe I would have made money from that. But then you're also kind of being risky about building a complete review website, especially because you're not actually doing reviews of the products that you, you know, you don't actually have them um, in your hand. And so you're really kind of going against what Google wants for those reviews. And so at some point your site's most likely going to get a Google penalty. And so you're kind of playing with fire if you uh, put out a bunch of affiliate content and affiliate uh, reviews on your sites um, early on uh, when um, I would just leave it at that, that uh, you could expect to be penalized probably um, even more so. So that's my update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, got some value from it, and I'll keep you guys posted on this. Uh, thanks. We'll see you next time.